dancing to music has long been a form of expression for celebrations, entertainment, and to simply have fun. But for children who are deaf, participating in a Northside ISD dance camp designed just for them has given the students so much more. I am lost, I am vain, I will never be the same without you. Boys and girls in grades 6 through 12 are expressing themselves through the art of dance. They cannot hear the music, but they can feel the beat. An estimated 40 students participate in the month-long San Antonio Deaf Dance Company camp at Warren High School. It's a perfect opportunity for us kids to develop our confidence. There are no other programs out here like this. This is Nayeli Theron's second year attending the camps. She loves it because it's a lot of fun. And she says this experience has really helped her grow as a person. Sometimes we're shy and maybe we're not so great in our sign language skills, so we help each other develop our skills in communication and dancing, and it's just a great program. The dance camp is a Northside sponsored event, but other deaf and hard of hearing children from surrounding public schools also attend. It was started 17 years ago by a Northside school counselor for the deaf, Carol Ann Broderson, who was also deaf. The first thing I noticed was many of the students didn't have any self-esteem. They had no knowledge of services, colleges, organizations, clubs, all that for deaf. Ms. Broderson also says she didn't see the students having any identity as a deaf person. That's when she decided to create the camp to allow deaf students a chance to develop self-confidence and leadership through dance. The school saw that what they learned in the dance camp, they applied to school and the grades went up, the self-esteem went up, I mean it's just it was amazing. Since the beginning, Northside has helped financially support the camp every year. The San Antonio Deaf Dance Company also receives funding through grants, which goes towards hiring professional deaf choreographers from across the country. Marshall High School student Justin Ramirez has been with the dance company for about two years. He says his favorite dance is hip hop. We practice, we dance. It's hard, but you know, we use the counts. You have to remember, and it's a little bit, you know, we lip read a little bit. But, um, we practice, and, you know, we do the dances. They remind us, the choreographers. Justin, along with the rest of the students, learn about 10 different dances that include African dance, hip hop, and lyrical. Night, the light, and let it shine. Then, at the end of camp, the students hold a performance for the public. It's an experience that changes many of the children's lives. They realize they can accomplish things on their own. They even start aspiring to attend college, something many of the students had never thought of before. We have almost 90 to 100 percent of our students go on to a college program after this. I and mean, we've got PhD students. We have one girl who was completely mainstream, um, isolated at her school and very, she had a lot of issues. Well, she's now um, a PhD student at Boston University for microbiology something. The dance camp only happens once a year. It is not a year-round club or organization, so it is something these participants dream about all year for a chance to be around dozens of other children just like them to dance and dream big.